Hey everyone, Mark here on the Numscar YouTube channel yet again. If you're a fan of tubs, you will no doubt know about our Lord of the Rings range. They were some of the first tubs we ever released. We had Gandalf, Frodo, Legolas and Sauron. So obviously a few of the main cast members there from the get-go. Recently we announced our second batch of Lord of the Rings tubs. I've got all of them here with me today. So I've got Aragorn, Lurtz, Gimli and Galadriel and I'm basically just going to be giving you a little bit of a closer look at each of these new tubs. That's enough waffle, let's get on with it. So I'm going to be starting off with number five and that is Gimli, making a lot of racket here this morning. So I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan and Gimli is definitely one of my favourite characters. So we're going to pop him out of his tub that he comes with. So all of the Lord of the Rings tubs come with a little brown tub to display them in. Gimli is quite a special member of the tubs family in the sense that he comes with a little axe. Axe is to be expected. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he comes with this little collectible axe. It slots right in here. So Gimli comes with his axe. You just slot it in when you can't get it out of the box. So get that little section in here and then you get that section in here. So yeah, once you've uh, assembled him, he's got his axe on display. Pretty cool. It's really cool when the tubs have a little prop to go with them. Other than that, we've got all the details that you kind of recognize from the character in the film. We've got his big beard, his uh, even got the little plaits in there as well. Got his helmet, got his uh, little uh, tunic, which somewhat resembles the color scheme of this uh, velvety, velvety number that I'm wearing. But uh, he's just kind of got all the little expressions and uh, mannerisms that you would associate with the character from the film. It's a shame really that we couldn't make him really any smaller, given the fact that the hobbits are the same size tubs. Um, can't really make the rubber ducks much smaller than this, but um, you can still tell he's a dwarf. It's quite apparent, I think. Moving on from Gimli, we've got Galadriel. She is number six in the Lord of the Rings tub series. She's gonna take her straight out of her collector's tub. So yeah, she looks great as well. Once you get a closer look at these tubs, you can actually really see the little details. Like in her elven dress, it's just got so much detail all over it. Pretty amazing, really, just the little fine details. Show you in this camera as well. Don't, don't know how much of that you can see, but there's a lot of small details in there and it looks pretty cool. So she's got her elven crown. She's got her long blonde hair got even little accessories such as bracelets. There, I'll see if you can see that. Galadriel is obviously a pretty key part of Lord of the Rings series and it's nice to have her here in collectible form. Moving on though, we've got uh, one of my favorites. Obviously, you couldn't really have Lord of the Rings without Aragorn himself, so here he is. What an attractive leading man of a duck we've got right here. So Aragorn comes with his sword. He's got an amazing, amazing little uh, goatee style beard going around his bill, which I really like. We've got tons of detail here all over him. He's wearing the outfit that you associate with him in um, probably the most in the Two Towers, I think. This is where I seem to remember this outfit from. So uh, when the outfits when him, Gimli, Gimli and Legolas are running running over non-stop hills. Not really sure how they managed to run as far as they did in those films. Two Towers basically is just them sprinting over mountaintops. But yeah, Aragorn looks absolutely awesome in Tubbs form, I really think. Moving on from Aragorn, we've got the big bad himself. We've got none other than Lurtz. And actually bringing up Lurtz does make me think this actually probably is his outfit from the first Lord of the Rings film, because these two clash, don't they? This is kind of the epic showdown from that film. So obviously you can't have Aragorn without Lurtz. So Lurtz is, I believe he's created by Saruman. He is leading Urukai in the first film. There's really a great bit of detail on this Tubbs figurine. Green. It's safe to say that this is probably one of the most scary looking tubs we've put out so far. So we've got the the face paint, the war paint kind of style going on. We've got his Uruk blade, which looks pretty cool actually. They've done a really good job of recreating this. Got his long dark hair, his, uh, his dark battle armor. It's a really faithful recreation of the character. And to be honest, this is the first time I actually have found out his name. So uh, 
if you're not buying the tubs for the collector's value, you are buying them to actually learn more about certain characters that you might not have known, known about if you just watched the films. So that's all of our Lord of the Rings new tubs. Let me know what you think of each of these new figurines in the comments section below. Definitely tell me which one is your favorite. Aragorn definitely has to be my one. He's probably one of my favorite characters from the series anyway. Obviously there's rumors of a Lord of the Rings Amazon series. Are you excited about that? Are you excited about any new video games coming out? Which one of these do you personally like the most? If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Alongside the release of this video, we're also going to be giving away one of each of our Lord of the Rings tubs. In order to enter, all you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and drop a comment saying which one of these tubs you'd like to win. You can enter with more than one comment for another character if you'd like to. It will basically just increase your chances of winning. Good luck, and I'll see you all soon.